Hey guys, so the OnePlus 5D is finally here. With the improved massive 18 by 9 6 inch display. Most of the other stuff is same. Uh, the fingerprint scanner has gone to the back and there's a facial scanner which is really really fast. But in this video, I want to put the OnePlus 5D up against the Samsung Galaxy S8 and not just any S8, Oreo powered Samsung Galaxy S8. So we have done a lot of speed tests already and this phone is incredible. Samsung has improved the performance so much with the Oreo. So I want to test it out against the OnePlus 5T and see how it will go because the price of the S8 is now very similar to the price of the OnePlus 5T, just a little bit expensive. That's why a lot of people requested this comparison as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so kicking things off with a boot up comparison going in three, two, one, boom. And okay, uh, OnePlus logo came up just a little bit quicker. Let's see if the 5T can defeat the S8 because S8 is, uh, I think, the fastest one. Uh, just lost to the Pixel, but that phone has pure Android. And as you can see, the Galaxy S8 easily beats the OnePlus 5T when it comes to booting up. And of course, under the hood, the OnePlus 5T is same as the OnePlus 5. We got Snapdragon 835 processor, uh, while the Galaxy S8 that I have is the Exynos model. So let's get started with the first application, which is going to be the phone dialer. So three, two, one, go. And as you can see, that was really quick on the OnePlus 5T. Of course, it didn't show the dialer right away, but uh, yeah, that was faster on the OnePlus 5T. It has super fast animations. Next up, we have settings. And again, felt a tiny bit faster on the OnePlus 5D. Let's move on to some third-party applications. Uh, first off, we have the Instagram. And again, same Wi-Fi network. Um, okay, about the same on both phones. I'm gonna check my profile right away. And load up tiny bit quicker on the OnePlus 5T, but, but you can see both phones were really fast there, utilizing the Wi-Fi speed to the absolute limit. So next we have Subway Surfer game, and game loading times will be similar. Or no, okay, OnePlus 5T was tiny bit faster there. So that was our first game. Let's check out Pinout. About the same on both phones. And just to keep in mind that the Galaxy S8 is still running a beta version of Oreo, so the official thing will obviously be improved. But yeah, let's see. We got Snapchat next. Uh, boom. And about the same. SoundCloud. About the same. Smash Hit. Another game. And... As you can see, the OnePlus 5T was first one to open the application, but... They both felt about the same uh, with the final loading time. How about Spotify? And faster on the OnePlus 5D. Twitter, faster on the S8. And just to push the RAM management to the extra edge, we're going to launch one more game, which is the Alto game. So here we go. And again, OnePlus 5D reacted to the touch first. And it's also faster, just a tiny bit. You can see the times there. Just a little bit quicker. And lastly, we'll be loading up cameras on both phones. So, boom. And again, OnePlus 5T was faster there. Now time for the browser war. So first off, we have the wikipedia.org website. And as you can see, really, really fast on both phones. That was hard to judge. I think both were about the same. Next, we have wwe.com. And let's see. Can we have a winner with the web? Browser war, so yes, of course, the OnePlus 5T finishes up quicker, followed by the Galaxy S8. So pretty awesome performance on uh, both phones. Of course, OnePlus 5T uh, is really, really snappy, like always. Uh, the S8 was faster in booting up, but in other areas, the 5T did manage to come on top, being slightly faster in some games. So let's see the RAM management. As you can see, phone dialer is still there. We got settings, that's also there. Moving on to third-party application, Instagram, and that is not a refresh, actually. Showed the widescreen, but it still got that feed. Maybe it is a refresh. Uh, that is up to you guys. Let's see, we have Subway Surfer. As you can see, it's still there in the memory. Okay, we got Pinout. On to Snapchat. SoundCloud. Back to Smash Hit. 
So you can see no refresh there at all. Can Spotify, still there. Twitter, Alto. And we are back to the browser. So you can see no performance issues RAM management wise. This is the beta software, but still it is keeping up pretty good against an 8 gigabyte RAM OnePlus 5T. So, so thank you so much for watching the speed test. I hope you guys have enjoyed this comparison and uh, I hope it will help you to make the decision if you are stuck in between these two phones. I actually made a video uh, talking about which one you should go for, uh, taking a look at all the features, but this was the performance test and you can see that even after all the months the Galaxy S8 is still keeping up pretty good against the phones that are coming out just now. So hopefully the official Oreo update will arrive on both of these two phones really soon so that we're gonna have a rematch. So thank you so much again and subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.